Once you identified the landmark of the femoral vein, either with ultrasound or by palpating, proceed further with the catheterization. The modified Seldinger technique minimizes the risks associated with intravenous catheter placement by locating the vessel with a needle and introducing a guide wire into the vessel lumen. There are five steps to proper technique. First find the vein with the introducer needle. You will know when you are in the vein. When non-pulsatile venous blood is identified. Second, advance the guide wire into the vessel lumen. Third, withdraw the needle and use a scalpel to cut the skin adjacent to the wire. Fourth, dilate a tract from the level of the skin into the vessel lumen. Fifth, advance the catheter over the guide wire into the vessel while maintaining control of the guide wire at all times. If there is good flow on initial aspiration and the wire does not pass through the needle, remove the wire and reconfirm flow into the syringe. If you are unable to reacerate blood into the syringe, it's possible that the needle has been advanced through or pulled back out of the vein. Adjusting the depth of the needle until blood can be aspirated will allow proper positioning of the needle for re-advancement of the wire. If the wire will not pass despite good blood flow, flattening the angle of entry or twisting the wire in your fingers to change the direction of the distal end may allow passage of the wire. Never force the wire against resistance. It may be kinked or extra luminal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more procedure used in intensive care unit. Thank you.